is your presence here with us today, jumping, keeping warm, <laughs> but holding those signs and making it known that there are Alaskans and there are Fairbanksans who want to change, who want to have climate action now. Yeah. yeah. Yes, and in the spirit of local, state, national, international, another speaker who is going to be coming up heard this was happening and said, yes, I need to be here. I mm -hmm. need to raise my voice. And we're going to get to hear from Bessie Odom, born and raised here in beautiful Alaska. She's currently a student at the University of Alaska Anchorage studying education, special education, and French. She's been a member of the NAACP Youth Council for two years now and recently became vice president in 2015. So the yes and calling forth our diverse set of gifts and recognizing that we need to celebrate that they're not all the same and call them forth. So think, what do you have to bring forth? Who can you be inviting into the coalition to joining in the celebration of gifts, talents, and calling us all forward into a just transition? So Bessie Odin, come and share from your vantage point with us. <laughs> Costume change. <laughs> Hello everyone and good hey. afternoon. Hello. Again, my name is Bessie Odom. I'm visiting um, from beautiful Anchorage. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks for having me up here in the uh, cold Fairbanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to give you guys a short little uh, introduction, if you will, about who I am and where I'm coming from and why this hits home. Mm -hmm. um, so my name, again, is Bessie Odom. I'm the vice president for the Anchorage NAACP Youth Council. I've been a member for two years and an activist for environmental justice much longer. Mm. This year, both the NAACP and the NAACP Youth Council has been very busy with a variety of projects and missions, one of which, which is climate change. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Upon my travels, I have ran into many people who ask why a group like my own, the NAACP, is taking initiative and in issues such as climate change. Does anybody have any ideas? <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> okay, so um, many, like I said, many of many people I ran across don't really see the correlation, mm. which I understand is kind of very complex if you don't you don't know about the organization. So first of all, the NAACP is the oldest civil rights nation in the country. It was originally founded in 1909 here in the beautiful United States. It was made to combat racial injustice and fight mm -hmm. for the rights many humans didn't necessarily have. Um, this right was equality and the right to a better life. The very purpose, the very foundation of the NAACP fits right in hand with the climate change issues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all have the right to an equal life. We all have the right for a better life. And if people are still suffering to feed their families, suffering from health issues like asthma, suffering from rebuilding their lives after catastrophic natural disasters like Katrina, mm -hmm. we must ask ourselves, why? More importantly, what can we do to help? Right. Last year I gave a speech at an event, the NAACP, sponsored with the Anchor Sierra Club. I mentioned in that speech that what happens to one individual, one family, one community, happens to us all. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna repeat that again so everybody can let that soak in just a few minutes and understand the power of those words. One thing that happens to one individual, something that happens to one individual, eventually happens to us all. Mm -hmm. Where one is suffering, it is only natural to be sympathetic, but we must take this response a tad bit farther mm -hmm. and put action with it. Mm -hmm. So when our brothers and sisters in rural Alaska are crying out for help yeah. because their way of life is being jeopardized by coastal erosion and things as ocean acidification, or when communities impacted by more intense storms 
are praying for help, we must aid them. Yeah, yeah. We must aid them, not only with our words and our emotions, but we must aid them with our actions. We need to go to these places, ask what we can do. We need to talk to our legislators and tell them what they should do. We elect these people for those very reasons. Mm -hmm. yeah. Areas the NAACP has examined and have begun to make advancement towards were a lot of the areas I just mentioned. In particular, we are looking at ways to reduce harmful emissions, mm -hmm. particularly greenhouse gases. Yeah. Advance energy efficient and clean energy, and also improve community resilience and livability. Partnering with the Anchor Sierra Club, a few other environmental groups, various Native Alaskan groups and communities, we have begun to make strides from, towards making a better environment. This year we hosted our first event in a series partnered with the Anchor Sierra Club. We spent the day shoveling the walkways and driveways, picking up trash, and talking to the community about various issues that they faced. Sadly, the overall consensus seemed to be the same. The community said that it was problematic being able to, being forced to walk in the streets because the city would not plow their walkways. Mm. Now keep in mind, this community relies heavily on buses to commute to their jobs, to see their other family members, and if snow is being thrown into their walkways versus the street or even in the, you know, the yards, that creates a big issue. Mm -hmm. Helping the most diverse neighborhood on that day was an example on the many ways we plan to help the community across Alaska and thus impact the world. Many may also ask, why serve that particular community versus all the others in Alaska? Well, the answer wasn't and still isn't that simple. However, I will say that diseases, the lack of water, soil salinity, and feminine are all impacts that will affect people who are already economically vulnerable. Yeah. Yes. You see, the truth is that the communities that are being um, impacted and dealing with environmental injustices are communities of color. Mm -hmm. Climate change and its devastating effects have a disproportionate impact on communities of color. Mm -hmm. These communities lack the resources and tools necessary to combat the environmental injustices. And that is where the NAACP fights so hard to ensure that everyone, everywhere, has a right to an equal and better, better life. Yeah. Even, <laughs> even if that is hosting fundraisers to send water to communities like Flint, Mm -hmm. or helping to shut down toxic coal mines on Native American reservations. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. The NAACP Environmental and Climate Justice Program advocates and mobilizes communities to address these human and civil rights. Now I'm going to tell a little story of why this hits home for me personally. Mm -hmm. um, some of you guys may have already heard this story, but I think it's so powerful that we all can kind of listen to it and take something away. Um, just this uh, few years ago, um, a lot of you guys might have heard about the oil spill in the Gulf. Mm. Um, a lot of my family was in that area making a living um, on fisher boats, you know, fishing and shrimping and all the good stuff. Um, because of the oil spill, however, they were displaced and their way of life was not only jeopardized but completely taken away where they had to relocate, find somewhere totally different to live. Um, that also hit my family and that we had to help support them and give them a better quality of life. Now, what I want everybody to think about is how this could have all been avoided. How could have the oil spill be avoided? The important question is, what could we have done to prevent that? What could we have done to make that less severe than what it really was? We could have talked to our legislators and told them, hey, this stops here, this stops now. Um, the truth of the matter is, we need to always ask ourselves, how can we put actions to our words and make this a better environment, not for only communities of color, but for everyone? We all inhabit this place, and we need to keep it very promising for our young people, because this is their land too, not only today, but it will be tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your time. <laughs>